Hello, this is Jeannie Alcott. I want to share with you a great idea of what you can get for yourself and for your family and friends. It's called a puzzle and a prayer. We want to send you a 500 piece puzzle that can inspire and encourage your life. And it's a great witnessing tool. This puzzle is on a beautiful mountain scene and on it are the words from Jeremiah 29 11. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. See how the Spirit of God will move as you put this puzzle together. And we want to send you prayers that I wrote under the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pray these over yourself and your family and friends and expect miracles. And these are great tools to have over the holidays. So request the puzzle and prayer by calling 918-459-9191 or write or go to our website, alcopministries.org. Request these right away. God bless you. We're so glad you're with us today. We believe this will be an important time in your life. You can feel the presence and power of God as Jeannie shares His Word. Enter in and enjoy His love and compassion coming to you. Jeannie and John care about the challenges you're facing and the dreams and goals you have. So expect God's power to move and do a great work as Jeannie ministers and prays with you. Then, at the end of the broadcast, We'll tell you about the special gifts and resources we have for you. Here now is a word of power for you. It is so great to have you join me. This is Jeannie Alcott. We're going to talk about the times when God has ordained that something new happens. You know, there come times when what is isn't working for us. We need something new to come. A better answer or greater help and support or we need conditions to change to be a greater benefit. We can't accept status quo anymore. Instead, we believe something innovative can come to us. After all, God is the greatest innovator. Since He created the universe out of nothing, think what He can do for us in our personal lives. And knowing that can give you great hope when you're viewing conditions that seem unchangeable. Well, that's when your spirit has to take over your mind that's telling you there isn't any way. And your spirit has to help you begin to think as God thinks, see as God sees, View everything from the perspective of how big He is. Think, something new can happen for me. And then believe God has ordained it. That something new is meant to be. You see, when God has ordained something for you, He sends the anointing for it. His Spirit anoints your life, the surroundings, your mind and spirit and abilities, your resources. God sets down His anointing on all of that so what He has ordained can come about. I mean, you may not see right now how to complete that project that's been hanging around for so much time, or how to sell something, or how you can find a way to take care of that family member, or start your business or ministry. You don't see how this health issue can be solved, or the problems you're having in that relationship. It doesn't seem there's anything else that can be done for that financial need, or to get you past that obstacle that's preventing you from seeing your desire fulfilled. You need something new to happen. Believe God is ordaining that moment. Think of how He's done this in all of history for humankind. Innovations come that make our life so much easier or more productive. It's God proving Himself over and over as we see Him anoint someone to bring about an innovation. And that's because God ordained that person and they were anointed and willing to pay the price to see it come about. You know, sometimes sacrifices must be made to see something come into being. For instance... I imagine you have never heard of a man named John Froelich, yet we owe so much of our ability to have food supply to him. He was born in the 1800s in Iowa, the first of nine children. Two years after the youngest was born, their mother passed away. But his father was a devout Christian, and he instilled in his family to have faith and persevere. Instead of seeing their plight as impossible and no good thing could happen, John worked hard, and he had a deep desire and anointing to try to make things better for others. Because his family were farmers, they, as the other farmers, had to work hard to grow enough crops for the family and to sell. And this was during a time when there was food insecurity because the farms couldn't produce enough for the population. But this is also when the anointing came on Froelich to do something that was meant to be, create something new that could help solve the challenges for the farmers and meet the need for greater food production. Well, because John was so fascinated by steam-driven machinery, he began to apply what he was seeing to farm equipment. 
Over time, he was able to develop and invent a gas-powered tractor. May not sound very exciting to you, but now the farmers could use it to cause their efforts to be multiplied. Things would go faster. More food supply could be produced. The power of the farmer was ignited because of this tractor. The amount they could produce could go up, and food supplies would be more available for reduced prices. So the insecurity that people felt about not being able to have enough food would be reduced. Because of that innovation, mechanized farming began to expand. It's been said that John Froelich helped to feed the world. But of course, as he was working on this, those who didn't believe in it would make fun of him. People who were detractors were talking about him, trying to pull him away from his discovery. You know, detractors are people who disparage someone. Well, those detractors could not stop his new tractor from coming about because he knew to keep going in spite of them. He knew they were laughing at him, but I say, let them. Who cares if someone doesn't believe what you know God has anointed you for? Who cares if they laugh? You're the one who will laugh in joy and praise to God when you see there's something new that happens. Just as sure as God anointed Froelich to help feed the world by designing and creating a tractor for farmers that worked well, he has anointed you to see something new for your life and for others. See, you may not feel it, but you are creative, and you can event, just as sure as some famous scientist or history maker. You have the Spirit of God in you, and He is what? The greatest innovator. He has so many new ways that He can show you how your life can be better, and you can help others. Don't believe that you're stuck in a certain place with certain conditions. Hear this. There are answers you haven't heard yet. There is a way to see an issue resolved that you don't know about yet. There are new roads that you can take to see fulfillment of what you desire. Don't give up on the anointing that God has for you. Believe that what you want to see happen is meant to be. Something new will happen. Sure, you can't see it now, but believe it has already been created. That gas-powered tractor was already existing in the spiritual realm from God's creative mind. Then when he anointed a person to work on it and have it come into reality, that person was faithful to do it. That's all you need, just to be faithful. Believe God has already prepared something new. It exists in the spiritual realm from God's creative mind. And as you receive the anointing from him and you recognize, hey, this is ordained to happen, then it can happen. It can come about. That's when what the devil has sent to pull you away from what God has for you is defeated. He just can't do it. He can't convince you that God doesn't have something new for you that is meant to be. There was a man in the Bible who embraced this whole belief, the belief that God ordains what happens in our life. He anoints us so we can see the innovations there for us. They make our life so much better, so don't pass them up. This is how the Bible describes what this man did when he knew something new must happen for his people. He was Uzziah, and he became king of Judah at a young age. He had faced so much tragedy because both his father and his grandfather, who had reigned in Judah, had been assassinated. So you can imagine he was watching out for himself. But instead of living in fear and backing away from what he knew God had ordained for him, he went on the offensive. This is what we do when hardship or something fearful has introduced itself into our life. Instead of backing away and not receiving everything meant for us, we move forward. We go on the offensive. It's a matter of saying within yourself, I'm going to get what is meant for me. And mean it. Have faith. Trust God it will happen. He's ordained it. And in spite of what you see, something new is happening. Uzziah believed God had ordained him in that position. And not just to be there, but also to make things better for Judah. So he dug in and he began improving the public works. I understand that if you went over there, you could still see some of those works to this day. He developed the natural resources, dug wells, grew vineyards. Then on the military side, he had fortifications built and organized a mighty army. The weapons he gave his troops were the best and most advanced in their abilities. They were well armed. He installed the best in military technology so at the towers and corners of the walls, his troops could shoot arrows and hurl stones down at the enemy. He conquered other places and was very successful. So he became very famous. He made things better for the people. Well, something new is waiting to happen for you. If you believe that God has ordained it, 
that it's meant to be for you, then you can see something new come about. Don't back away, but believe in the anointing that is on you. I encourage you right now to feel the anointing as we begin to pray. You and I are joining our faith. I'm telling you, when two believers come together and stand in faith, we cause great things to be released from heaven, released from the hand of God. You see, he's waiting for people who want to see something new happen. And that's who we are. So as we pray, believe events will begin to transpire. Let's pray. Oh, thank you, God, for your anointing. I know it's flowing right now. And that's because you're creating new things. New events and conditions and ideas are coming. My friend is going to see answers and fulfillment. Those are coming to them because they have accepted this day that they are anointed. Their God has ordained for them to receive what's in His hands. Therefore, by our faith, we see those released. They are sent out to come into the life of my friend. What a great change it will be. What a tremendous impact they will feel. Good things are about to happen. Ooh, there's a shaking going on. The past doesn't matter. What's ahead of them is what matters. And you're saying what's ahead of them is new and wonderful. It will be what their heart desires. They shall see great success and victory. We believe this in the name of Jesus. Amen. I encourage you to feel the new that's happening. God has ordained it, and now it's up to you to receive it. And John and I are going to help you. God has anointed us to be here for you, to pray and believe for those great things to come into your life. This is why we encourage you to share with us. Tell us what something new you need to come about. When we hear from you, we speak God's word and promises over your life. We do spiritual warfare, and we also want to write to you and give you words that will come from His Spirit. I believe as you read them, you'll feel the anointing of God. So get in touch soon. Okay, here's our spiritual power line. These are words you need to speak over your life. It creates power when you do that. So keep going around saying, It's meant to be for me. It's meant to be for me. We want you to receive everything that's meant to be for you. So be sure to get this message. The name of it is, It's Meant to Be. We'll send you all five parts of it and the prayer times. It's offer number AM842, that's 842. We can send a CD of it to you for a gift of $8 into the ministry. Or you can get a download of it from our website for a gift of $5. Just call or write or go to alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries dot O-R-G. Our announcer will give you all the information. And just a reminder, these messages are not always available, so be sure to request it right away. John and I also want to invite you to give into this ministry as we are giving. God promises to use your gift to fulfill His work in the lives of so many people. Then He also promises to fulfill His word in your life. So join us now and give to Him. Tomorrow is Friday. Be sure you join me for the word that God has for your life. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. What a great time in God we had. His anointing has now been imparted to you and His Word is working to help and bless you. Jeannie and John are here to cover you with prayer and speak words from God over your life. So get in touch with us by calling 918-459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 3400, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, 74013. Or go to our website at alcottministries.org. Jeannie and John want to receive your prayer requests and offer you special gift resources and also encourage you with our devotionals and inspirational videos. Now, let us know today that you want to request a copy of this message and know that you delight the heart of God as you give into this ministry and He promises to give back to you in every way. Join us next time to receive a word of power.